I am on this marathon stream of making videos right now. So let's just keep it going. Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I'm trying to get away from singing all of the songs from the Rocky Horror soundtrack. I did a video and ended it with a quote from Rocky Horror and now I can't stop singing the songs. Oh, I got the soul of damn McLean. Okay, seriously guys, here we are. What I wanted to talk about today, and this video is specifically for poets out there. So if you are a poet and you are watching this video, please, at the end of this video, or any time throughout, I don't care how many fucking comments you leave, you could comment, bomb me all you fucking want. Tell me what your experience with this stuff is. Because maybe I'm just in a bunch of shit groups. But I want to talk to you today about poetry Facebook groups. And I probably don't even need to just say Facebook. But this is the majority of my dealings with, um, with fucking Facebook and poetry groups. I am a part of a lot of poetry Facebook groups. Some of these groups have thousands of members from all over the world. I think one of them actually has over 22,000 members. Okay. And I go through and I stop by these groups. I, I don't do it nearly as often anymore because I fucking hate Facebook. But I go through every once in a while and just like look through and there's all these posts. Like people post in these groups every few minutes throughout the day. Okay? And I go through and I'm scrolling and I'm looking. Thousands of members, maybe one like. Most of the things don't even have comments. And when you start going through, you notice the same people posting all the time, you know? but they're getting absolutely no engagement. They're getting nothing out of these groups. And there's a part of me that's like, is it, is it them posting their poetry in this that edifies them, that like builds them up as a poet, as an artist, just knowing that they can drop these poems in here? And then that was kind of tripping me out. And then you also get all this stuff where poets will do like, not necessarily like a press release, but like some like, I don't know, like MS Paint slash Canva looking image that's like, like and a picture of them or looking off in the distance. And it will say like, so-and-so poet wins something award for bleh and there's like no likes no shares no comments thousands of people in this group nothing there was just all this shit and i'm like i don't know what the fuck any of this stuff is and it doesn't seem to be fucking doing anything so i'm like okay i'll post um my podcast in here and say that i'm looking for people to interview Okay. I posted it in every fucking group. Zero responses. Zero responses. Not a single fucking person responded to me. Thousands of people in these groups. And I posted in every single one of them and didn't get a fucking response. So what good is a poetry group on Facebook? What do you need to have an engaged poetry community. Because what it sounds like to me is there are a lot of poets out there who love their own work and fucking don't read anybody else. So let me know how to fix this. Let me know what you think should happen and how do you make a perfect, not even a perfect, but just like a thriving poetry community. And also your experiences with Facebook poetry groups or other site poetry groups. Leave them down below. 
keep buying my books, everybody, and type hard, and I will talk to you later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.